And uh, nonetheless, uh, Ben, are you back here again? You missed a couple matches. I'm back, and I know that music. You still partying with uh, SCU? Hell yeah. This party don't stop. Making his way to the ring. How come I wasn't on? Never mind. You know exactly why. Never mind. Uh, nonetheless, uh, this next match coming up here is a very personal feud between these two as Leon Blackwave goes head to head with the new upstart here, Brute Pain, as they go head to head in a chairs match. Now, I was wondering what the hell the stipulation is to a chairs match, then, but and then I found out that uh, these two are going to start out with chairs in the ring. There's going to be chair, a pile of chairs in the center of the ring to start off this match. Right when the bell rings, there will be a pile of chairs in the ring. For them to do whatever they wish with them. So it should be very interesting. Now, um, I don't know if I should ask you a favorite here in this match, because you've got every single match that you picked up all right and right. Even the trio's title, so uh, you want to go ahead and pick someone or not? Told you, it was in the bag. This match, I'm not I'm completely unsure about, honestly. I mean, in all honesty, you should be. Boot Payne look pretty impressive upon his debut here, and you know the credibility of Leon Blackbird. He's one of the top, yeah. like, three guys in UWA, so. At one point, I even named him the new face of the universe after, well, the other one retired. It's you see, you see, it, you see a very dark look for Leon Black right here tonight. And Blue Pain now, of course, is the uh, rebirth, if you will, of Blue Pain. Here, Payne makes his way down to the ring here. I mean, I don't know. Payne's going to be pretty dominant now. But we'll have to see. This is the Viking, man. Black Rave, in my opinion, would have knocked off Alistair Black over the Rumble. Would you agree? If it weren't for that yes. screw job, he would have knocked them off. That, that's very true. He's setting up for the Vikings call. Brute Payne came up to the apron, threw Black Rave off right into the black mask. And that has kind of created this issue, Brute Pain. Uh, he straight up just didn't want Leon Black there to beat Alistair Black because he said he wanted to be the one to do it. Of course, Alistair Black knocked off Brute Pain a few months ago in explicit action. Brute Pain feels as though he's better than Leon Black there. He didn't want Black there to do what he couldn't. That has kind of created this whole situation. And with the rebirth of Brute Pain after his whole situation, you know, we're not going to get into that. But nonetheless, this is going to be a brutal match. The bell is rung and the chairs are in the ring. And they've each got kendo sticks as well. And God, I think it's kendo sticks for all. Guessing under the ring. Oh shit, the, well, well, they missed there. Black Ray missed and Brute Pain caught him with a forearm. Punch. Smash is going to be brutal and, oh God. Oh fuck. He's got air time on that throw. I think Boots got a bit stronger here lately, but uh, Liam Blackway caught him with a forearm and now a kick up from the Viking. So you said this is going to be pretty even. I have to agree with you. I don't really know who to pick here. Uh, Boot pain. Oh, God, and Jesus. Seen enough of those already tonight. Uh, uh, Blackway no. caught him with another forearm right again. under the chair. Now Leon looking for the follow-up, but Boot Pain counters with a big lariat. And Boot Pain, of course, the southpaw here of the UWA, so you're going to have to watch out for those left on. And Pain drives a... Regular side of the jaw. We're going to fall on there. Chowie's out of position here. I can't really blame him. He's gotten knocked over a few times here tonight. But he's still going to be better than Mark was earlier. Oh, wait. Uh, Black Grave. Black Grave will power him there. Very Will you? bad looking situation. Looks like he's going to go for a power bomb on the chair. Yeah, oh God, there goes Chowie again. Down goes Chowie! Blue Pain breaks off there. DT. Oh, shit. Oh, that oh. would have been bad. Black Grave blocked it, though, and now Leon caught him with a calf kick. And Black Grave back in control here as he goes for the roller elbow there. 
hung him up on the ropes. Using the ropes not to fall all the way down, but it didn't even, it didn't help him that much. And now Keen as uh, Brute Payne tries to regain control here. And he's oh, okay. Shit. He caught it this time oh. right on the chair. He's on like the chair. Shoulder of Black Grave. Now he's gonna cover Lee on here, but not even a one count there. Black Grave kicks out pretty much immediately. Oh no. Uh-oh. Oh geez, right on top of the chair too. Oh man. He's gonna break Leon's arm. Oh, be pretty honest with that might be the game plan. As yeah. I know Black Ray kicks him off. Leon back in control, went for the close line, gets a drop toe hold by Brute Payne. Now Payne with the help. Oh, oh my god, what the oh. come on, shall we? I know it's no uh, DQ, no. but still you're gonna let him bite him? So. Now Black Ray, a pull over the oh. chair. That's definitely worth a pinball right there to the Leon. Cover one, only a one count. Blue Pain powers out of one. Jesus. He just got running bulldogs on top of the damn steel chair. And now Leon's about to do something a lot worse here. Oh God! Damn. Oh, he's going up top. Well, you know what? Oh no, he went for an elbow drop. I thought we were getting the Vikings call already. Now Leon choke slam, choke slam, but Brute Pain scout, Brute Pain scout it and oh god! Oh, high elevation flatliner. Under like, the kendo like, stick. I don't know if you caught like, that, but I forced on the kendo stick there for Leon. I don't know if it was his jaw, but I think it's I think it caught his throat when he went straight down on it. Either way, that can be good for Black Rave as now he gets the Northern Lariat from Blue Pain. Southpaw there connecting with the Northern Lariat. We on Black Rave counters with a big knee lift. Black Rave, big stomach kick there. Oh, God! Oh! Blue Pain just ate that shit! That didn't even come very effective. Attention. And Pain right now is just bulldozing through Black Rave. And now, oh god, he's got him off the pendulum already, but Leon lands on his feet. That would have been catastrophic there for Blue Pain. Or for Leon Black Rave, I mean. On oh, Black Rave's. Leon's First instance of a chair being used in this match. Wait, baby. Did you see that on the outside over there? There's a table set up over there. And, uh, when the hell did they do that? Black Rave with the down. grave consequences to Blue Pain. I don't know how the hell the table, I didn't even notice it over there. Cameraman, of course, was focused on the match. I didn't see anyone set up a table oh. over there, but... Oh, God, and Black Rage been busted open. Another high elevation and flatliner. Jesus. No kidding. Oh, God, and now Blue Pain goes head first off the ring post there. Black Rage. Oh, God, just stumbling in the back. <laughs> There's the ladder out there from earlier from the Road to Riches ladder match. Still, no one's putting it up. And no. shot to the face, and now Black Rave kind of shot to the midsection. These two are just trading blows on the outside. I have much more ready to call this no. mouse than the other one. But uh, nonetheless, and now uh, Black Rave, Butterfly Lock. Nice. Butterfly Lock puts from Black Rave. Showing the strength of him. Black Rave's mouth might have gotten busted open too <laughs> off of that flat line around the kindle stick possibly he's just seen him spit out some blood there and now boot pain yeah. the hell is he's not doing it again is he oh my god jesus oh, oh okay i thought he was going for another high elevation flatliner from the top oh no jesus. Oh. just utilize that chair the black rig had set up a few minutes ago and that kick out at two jesus this is brutal Black Rave right back up to his feet. Leon just slapped in the face of Blue Pain. Disrespect there. Uh, Seeming like takedown going into a, looks like a death block. Clover leap applied by Blue Pain on Leon Black Rave. Black Rave fights out of it there. Black Rave again. Oh jeez, and Blue Pain rolled out of the way again there. I shoved by Pain dodging that. Now Black Rave. Oh what? Oh jeez. <laughs> 
the spike and run on his damn head. Off the ropes of Jerry Z. He just what the fuck? Good night, Chowie. Got down. Might have just freaking killed Chowie. And the blue paint <laughs> sidestepped that form and Black Ray just freaking blasted him. Jesus I think Christ. He got blasted with the kendo stick just now. Can we get some help out here for the ref? <laughs> Why couldn't it have been Mark? Oh, no, Chowie's finally gonna be, he's not as big of a bitch as Mark is. But, oh, a nice counter there from Black Ray. What the hell are these two gonna do next even? They've done pretty much everything they possibly can at this point. Mitch and Noku driver. You just need to go for their big moves here. Black Ray now deadlifting him off the canvas. Dr. Bob in for the cover here, Chowie. Loopy as hell gonna count it and only a two count. Black Grave just is sitting there for a minute trying to think what he can do next to him. And man, Brute's mouth is messed up, man. I mean, Leon's mouth is messed up. He's got to be... He's spitting blood everywhere. What the... Oh, shit. What the fuck's happening? Oh, my God. No, oh. don't do it! Oh, my oh, God! Oh, fuck! He just piles on through the pain off the freaking apron, through a table, and now he's spitting out blood. Leon has freaking lost his mind, man. How the hell is Blue Pain yes, walking right now? That shit killed, no that idea. shit paralyzed Dylan Harris back at WrestleVerse. Jesus, it's right there, a huge windmill kick. Granted, that was on steps instead of through a table, but still. Oh, God. Oh geez, ducked it there. Leon caught him. What a stiff kick there from Black Ray. He's just throwing boot paint around the outside right now. This is getting freaking brutal. This is not supposed to be a goddamn death match. Now what? What? Oh no. Oh my god, no. Oh my god, no. Oh my oh, god! Right into the steps. Chowie's gonna have to freaking cover oh, this one. This is what. Shit. Come on. This isn't supposed Just to be a death match. There. Oh god, he's going for the fall of greatness there. Tribute to a former champion in UWA, but Blue Pain blocked it. Jesus, a pain just driving in forearms with the head of Leon. He just knocked him over the goddamn barricade. Blue Pain is getting far away from Blackgrave. Who the hell is more hurt right now? Pain just, his head's rattled, man. And Black Rave now is looking to finish him off. Great consequences. That, that might be it. Cover him, Black Rave. Standing there. Cover him. I think what he's he... got some sadistic thoughts in mind. Oh, no. The, uh, the hell is Leon? Oh, you, oh, you know exactly why he's going for it. Vikings call the boot pain. Oh, he was trying to recover V Trigger. Oh. Jesus Christ, Pain just knocked his goddamn head off. Holy, dude, look at the amount of blood pouring out of the face of Black Rave there. Jesus Christ, it's all over him. Pain, oh. the pendulum of pain from Brute Pain. Right in for the cover, here goes Brute. That's gotta be it, too. Are you kidding? Only two. They're putting it all on the line here tonight, a showdown. Giving a good reason here. On the biggest stage that oh no come on not Over like this pain and black Rave still kicks out look at the blood on the face of leon damn it man i might have to do that i might have to tell chowie to call it but for who though they're both banged up to the extreme no i might just have to have him call the fucking match right there around house from leon to boot pain Dude, these two are gonna kill each other. Well, hold on, don't, don't get mad, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna call. Uh, yeah, guys, I tapped me into Chowie's headset. Oh God, elevated flatliner out on the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, Chowie, man. Uh, if this gets any more, oh God, wait, hold. Oh my God, what the? Oh God, he caught him with a crucifix. Jesus Christ. No, and now he rolls it into the freaking, into a beast by ear. Chowie, just, just, if this match gets any worse, just call it, man. You, you, you have. It can only get worse. What are you talking about? Shut up, Ben. 
at your own discretion, man. Just call it if you have to. This is freaking, we don't need anyone dying here tonight. Choke slam countered by boot pain. Okay, I've, 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 as you can tell, I've uh, told Shawi if he needs to, he's gonna have to call this here. Just don't no, stay down, Rion. Dude, seriously, he's look not at, staying down. Neither of these the, men are. Look at the amount of blood that's freaking. Dude, Leon's gonna fucking die. He needs, he needs to get the oh, freaking. Oh my. No. Oh Wait, my oh, god. Shit. Oh my god. Tombstone to boot pain. Holy crap. And, oh god, another flying kick. Another shipwreck. And he's now going Leon. for it. Wait. What is he going oh, no, for? You don't think. Oh my Wait. god, no! Oh, a shit. diving variation! Two in a row, that's gotta do it! Come on, Chowie, fast count, fast count! Jesus. At this point, I just want this match to be over with. Black Graves losing way too much blood. Great consequences oh. from the Viking! Leon Black Rave in for the cover here! It's over. The what the fuck? It's not! How the fuck? Come on, shall we call it? Shall we call it? Shall we call Whoa. it now? Damn it! Fucking kill the match! Oh, oh shit! Fuck thank you, Jesus! My God! Cut the goddamn! Show, show the fucking replays, Jesus Christ! This is ending in the draw, man. I don't care. This is Jesus fuck. God damn. Now can we get some freaking medics out here? We already seen the damage that Rollins took earlier tonight. We don't need anyone else getting hurt. Jeez, fucking the Fatal's ankle, dude. I'm gonna have no more freaking I'm gonna have no more talent after tonight. This might be the last show you And now we move on to the final two matches of the card our co-main event as Seth Rollins is set to go head to oh, wait for it, wait for it. Okay. This is the man of the universe, the only man that matters in the universe, your wrestling god. This is CrossFit Jesus. Bow down to Seth freaking Rollins. Burn it down. Okay. Better, you know I'm a huge fan of both these two in this match. This huge freaking kill, man. I'm just happy as hell this is gonna be over. The winner of this becomes number one contender for the United States Championship. This cute old, old boiling off from the freaking from the match at WrestleVerse from that freaking ladder match. For the lightweight title where Jerry Jeff would win it and then Seth Rollins would climb the ladder and drive his best friend Jerry Jeff off the ladder through a freaking table, injuring Jerry Jeff's back. Jeff would be out of action for multiple months. Rollins would take his spot in the survival at the Bible Gauntlet match for the U.S. title. Jerry Jeff would return only to get assaulted by Seth Rollins. A buckle bomb into the steel would put Jets back out of action. Jets would return back at the Rumble, take out the eye of Seth Rollins, and then continue to assault the eye of Seth Rollins at Showdown in Sin City, causing Rollins to go blind out of one eye. Jerry Jets will pick up the victory there with a coast-to-coast -to, -coast to the goddamn eyeball of Seth Rollins. And that has all led to this, the tiebreaker, the grudge match. We will conclude here tonight at Uprising as Hyper Speed Jerry Jets goes head to head with the man of the universe, Seth freaking Rollins. Rollins, a former two-time universe champ, two-time universe, two-time NXT champion, or actually one-time NXT champion, my bad. Two-time universe, one-time NXT champion, Seth freaking Rollins. Jerry Jets, a two-time lightweight champion.
Here's the opportunity for both wrestlers here to get a shot at Delton Hallway's United States Championship. When the crowd throughout the cool few has been 50-50, some of them are on the side of Jerry Jett, some of them are on the side of Seth Rollins. I can't even pick a side to be frankly honest. Shall we ring that damn bell? Of course, the winner will get retribution on their rival as well. Huge drop kick, cat kick, corkscrew style from Jerry Jets. Rollins moves out of the way, right into the paroxysm. And that connects. These two know each other so well. They're going for big moves early here. This is going to be an intense matchup here between Seth Freak and Rollins and Jerry Jets. Now Rollins looking for the follow-up. Wheel barrel face buster. Going to float over in for the cover here on Jerry Jets. One count. That's it, Rollins in control right now, but Jets from the ground connects with the hook, Corona. What a counter from Jerry Jets right into a standing moonsault. And Jets freaking idolized Seth freaking Rollins. And he even took the Phoenix splash from Seth freaking Rollins and called it the Phoenix Lights. Of course, Jets beating Rollins last month at the pay-per-view has now banned Rollins from using the Phoenix splash. No, come right there, Jets with a jawbreaker. Rollins freaking risked his life for Jerry Jets too back a few months ago, and now Jets is looking in this early here. Took a, took a, took a freaking RKO for Jerry Jets, and right there the kick. That's what beat, that's what beat Rollins back in showdown after the coast to coast, and now Jets to the top of Phoenix lights early on here, but Rollins moves out of the way. Rollins scouts the Phoenix lights. And now look at a follow-up schoolboy into the super kick. Vintage Seth freaking Rollins right into the cover one. Two, is that it? No, Jets kicks out of two. Pulls after this the huge triple threat for the universe title. Alistair Black defends his championship against the five-star savior Adam Page. And the Viking of Darkness, Leon Blackgrave. Huge triple threat match for the universe title. To close out the show here tonight, an uprising, but what a matchup this is going to be. Rollins kicks out the knee, high knee from Seth freaking Rollins, and Rollins is fired up right now. But man of the universe, CrossFit Jesus, is in control. He sends Jerry Jets into the corner. Now what the hell is Rollins? Oh God, Rollins looking for some payback from Showdown in Sin City. Seth Rollins has set Jerry Jets up in position. Payback's a bitch, Jets. Rollins has set him up. And coast to coast, bust Jerry Jets open. He caught Jets right in the eye with that coast to coast. And he just busted Jets open. Jets' forehead is bleeding. Cover, one, two, and a two count only. Jerry Jets kicks out much like Rollins did his showdown in Sin City. But Seth Rollins, man, he's going to continue to try to look in this year. And Rollins with a sling blade. And Jerry Jets is bleeding all over the ring canvas. Oh, no. Oh, no. And Rollins is going to go after that injured back. But luckily enough for Jets, he scalps it. Thank God Jerry Jets was able to scalp that there. And now what the hell is Jets doing? Oh my God, oh my God, he hooked him off the top. Astro scissors whip from Jerry Jets. Now Jets could be looking to turn it into hyperspeed here, but Rollins counters. Cat kick from Seth freaking Rollins. Rollins not about to let hyperspeed commence, but now Jets counters Rollins. Jets is preparing for takeoff here. This is Rollins off the ropes, there goes Chowie, and Rollins gets spiked on his damn head. And Chowie is just getting banged up here, and he might have to take a week, he might have to take a month off or something. Oh God, here we go, the jet stream, the jet stream storm breaker from Jerry Jets right into the cover, one, two, and Rollins almost got beat by the jet stream there. Jets calling him up, oh God. Now yeah, you know what this is, it's been a minute since he pulled this out, the Black Rain Driver, but no, Rollins fights it. Seth freaking Rollins fights the Black Rain. 
Now Rollins all know it's about to be Black Rain for Jerry Jet. As Seth Rollins is sending him up, shades of explicit action. The buckle bomb to the injured back of Jerry Jets. Stomp to the back for good measure. Looking for the follow up, but Jets counters. What does Jets have left right now? But he just got his back assaulted again. Can't spring back elbow from Jets. Oh my God, you've got to be kidding me. A 450 splash from the bottom rope from Jerry Jets. I think it's safe to say he's turned it up another gear here. And hyper speed at this point. Now Jets going to the top rope. Maybe going to look for Phoenix Lights again. Phoenix Lights, but yet again, Rollins moves out of the way. Jets go to moved in the match. Rollins knows it too well, though. Jerry Jets now. Jerry Jets showing his back as better shades of explicit actions. But this time his back's not giving out. Now Rollins counters with a jawbreaker. Rollins looking for that curb stomp. Jerry Jets able to block it. Spin back kick block. And now Jets blocks it from Rollins. These two know each other so damn well, man. Now Jerry Jets, now Rollins scouts it. And now yet again Jets scouts Rollins. Takes out the knee. Possibly looking for the black lane driver, but Rollins counters him again. Now gonna snap him off his feet. Elbow in the head, right to that eye. He busted him open again. He caught him in the eye. What a cutter from Jerry Jets. And Jets kicks up to his feet. What a cutter from Jerry Jets. Rollins sends it. Oh no, he's going for another buckle bomb here. Rollins is sending him up. We'll see exactly how well that back truly is. Another buckle ball from Seth freaking Rollins and he has laid Jerry Jets out. Rollins. Oh, don't you do it, you son of a bitch. He went for the Phoenix Splash. He's supposed to be banned from doing that, but Jets caught him with the knees anyways. Rollins is gonna get fined for that. Kick him in the ribs, but Rollins just don't care. He just leaped over the calf kick. Just stomped Rollins' freaking knee in right there. Jets just lost balance. Just fell over. Now Rollins is going to take advantage. Oh, no, not. Oh, God. And a forearm into the face of Jerry Jets. Jets is bleeding all over the damn place. And Rollins is about to end it by the right to the injured eye. That damn is going to blind him even more. Stormbreaker. Stormbreaker. But Rollins counters it into a hook. Corona. Rollins counters the Stormbreaker. And only a two count. Jets kicks out. Rollins calling him up. Oh God, here we go. This spells the end here for Jets. Curb storm. Right in for the cover goes Seth freaking Rollins too. And no, Jets kicks out of the freaking curb storm. No one kicks out of the curb storm except for Seth Rollins' protege, Jerry Jets. Now Rollins back to the top. Oh, he's going for another Phoenix Lights. And now he's calling him up. And no oh, man! Rollins just landed on that injured knee. Oh my god, he just buckled that injured knee to Seth freaking Rollins. And now Jerry Jets is gonna take advantage of it. Head kick, oh god, Jets! Jets with a hook around to the floor! Hook around through the ropes to the floor! from Jerry Jets. Two men are bleeding all over the damn arena. Jerry Jets has literally got the red, white, and blue right now. Got red, white, and blue in this match for the freaking US title. Showing their colors in the night. Rollins back to the top. Oh my God, he's three quarters of the way across the ring of Jets. And Rollins just connected with a freaking elbow drop three quarters across the freaking ring. Rollins. That's why he's freaking crossfit Jesus, man. He just flew. Now Jerry Jets. Jets has caught him. Tiger driver. Tiger driver from Jerry Jets. Jets now, what does he have left? What does Rollins have left? 
sends him into the corner. Rollins counters. Oh, but right to the face. Went for the Seth Walker. Oh, and Rollins caught him with a knee right to the face. Now Rollins trying to wear down hyperspeed Jerry Jets. He's trying to choke the life out of Jerry Jets. But Seth Rollins right after he attacked the head of Jerry Jets. He's continuing to damage the head and neck area. It's Seth freaking Rollins. And man, Jets might be out at this point. He's taking a tremendous amount of damage. And now Rollins to the top rope. Don't do it, Rollins. Don't do it. Phoenix splash, but Rollins once again eats knees from Jerry Jets. Now Jets has caught him. Corkscrew neck breaker. Set him up in the drop zone, Jets. We know he's going for something else here. He's going for that kick again. Oh, go right to that injured eye. No! Oh, Jesus! For one in the matches showdown. And now Jets is calling for the kill here. Black Rain Driver. Black Rain Driver. But Rollins yet again scouts it. Rollins lands on his feet. Curb stomp. And a second curb stomp to Jerry Jets. Say night night protege. But no. Hyper speed Jerry Jets kicks out of a second curb stomp. This is just mind numbing at this point. Now Rollins, Falcon's arrow, but wait, wait a second. Jets lands on his feet. Oh my God, right into, right in, right into the Black Rain Driver. Black Rain Driver from Jerry Jets. Jets connects with the Black Rain Driver. Holy hell. And a bloody Jerry Jets just knocks off his it's freaking master Seth freaking Rollins. I got out of the poor, ch poor choice of learning. It's freaking teacher Seth freaking Rollins. Holy shit. Match in the universe candidate right there yet again. Another one. And this time between Seth freaking Rollins and Jimmy Jets. Jets now is the number one contender for Delson Hollow's United States Championship at dead end. But don't forget, guys, Rollins now. Oh, God. Rollins has put the bat in the ring, and he is laying in the corner here for Jerry Jets as Jets now gets to break the back of Seth freaking Rollins. This is so messed up, and Jets. Jets hesitant here. I don't think he. I don't think he's gonna do. I don't think Jets wants to do it. He can't. He can't bring himself to freaking beat Seth Rollins, man. It's too much respect between the two. Crowd right now. They don't know what to think of this now. Rollins asking him what the hell is going on. And look at the face of Seth Rollins. These two have been through a war, and Jets just dropped the bat. Now Jets is, Jets is going to leave the arena here. Jerry Jets refusing to assault Seth Rollins. The following contest and is now it is time for the and UWA the United Wrestling States title Alliance. match, I believe. United yep. States, United States title is on the line up next. As the challenger, the former champion, KSJ, makes his way down to the ring. Now, this could be a good one, man. This could be a good one, that's for sure. KSJ is doing his title rematch tonight against Delson Harlow. This is a first-time ever matchup between the two. KSJ and Harlow, what do you think? This has got to be a five-star match. It's certainly going to be, I mean... One's been, you know, as you said, a former United Champion. The other one has been an NXT Champion, a pure Mayhem Champion. Two times pure Mayhem Champion. Well, I'm just counting, like, as the whole yeah. he's been there. Yeah, I mean, he's, now he's a four-time Champion in UWA or something. I mean, the way Hall of One was really cheap, and I wasn't happy about it at all. He kind of screwed over Nakamura, but... 
Unless, I mean, all the shit that Nakamura did to him, but then, like, he just went full douchebag back in Revival. And you can definitely tell by the crowd. The crowd was not happy at all. He freaking punched Hollow in the dick after Hollow eliminated two people. Like, it was, it was really pathetic on the, the split on the part of Hollow. I mean, like, the crowd has quickly turned on Hollow, even though his grandpa's probably still in the hospital. Anything to add to that? I mean, after all the shit Nakamura did to Hollow, I'm gonna say he kind of deserved it, but at the same time, I mean, I thought it was over at WrestleVerse. I mean, Hollow got a retribution there because I mean, he didn't have to do Nakamura like that. He was just a son in the gauntlet. He was the last man in the gauntlet. Nakamura already had to go through the machine, Brian Cage, and Adam Stallion to get to that point. Nakamura was spent. Hollow freaking punched him in the dick within the first two mat minutes of the match. And then ended up winning later on, but because of that cheap shot. So, I mean, it was really scummy of Hollow, but nonetheless, he is now the United States Champion. And I know from the fact, from what I've, from the amount of conversations I've had with KSJ, uh, he does not, dis he does not respect Hollow at all. So, I mean... I mean, who said even Hollow even cares? Does anyone I highly doubt him? he does anymore, I mean, I don't know what the hell has gotten into him, I mean, I guess it's that gold. And nonetheless, I mean, he did have to turn in a student mayhem championship for that opportunity, so it was a big gamble. Much like everyone else in the match, he now does not have a belt. Speaking of that, before the introductions get underway, in Jerry Jeff set Rollins later tonight in a grudge match inside the cage of death. That should be interesting. Mm -hmm. Introducing the challenger. I will say, you know, this is the first time I've ever I'm very curious to see how these two are going to work in the ring, KS... KSJ. Wait for the introduction. KSJ, you, you got you to give him the respect here. I mean, this is going to be a five-star match. Come on, bro. <laughs> Introducing the champion from Richmond, Virginia, weighing in at 250 pounds. He is the Universal Wrestling Alliance. United States Champion, the Outlaw L. Ken Howell. And yeah, you hear the you hear the crowd reaction. The hall was pretty mixed. It's like 50-50. Okay, what were you saying? I'm just saying, like this is gonna be an interesting match. You know, Hall has shown a ruthless side in the past, but he's not too much on the flair as KSJ is, where he'll go for like you know flips and stuff like that. I wouldn't necessarily say flips, but he's like really good at like transition wrestling, I guess is one way to put it. Like he's, he's yeah, really mobile I mean. in the ring. And oh wait, oh just speaking of that, oh, oh geez, and this is starting out hot here as Hollow counters and now Hollow set KSJ up, man. I didn't expect a start quite like that. And now Hollow, oh, right on the ropes. Man, that's that vicious side showing there, utilizing the ropes early on. KSJ, oh, and the disrespect. Yeah, he definitely, Hollow does not care. I mean, it's pretty clear KSJ does not respect Hollow. Hollow does not respect KSJ either. And that is pretty, pretty brutal considering KSJ had such a great United States title reign here in the UWA. It's pretty iconic. I don't know if anyone will ever live up to it. But you gotta assume that might be the goal of Hollow here is to outlast KSJ's title reign as United yeah. States champion. And KSJ's got it, no air raid crash into the neck breaker. Mm -hmm. I, I gotta say, that knee rocked Hollow. Yeah, no kidding, but I'd also say that the ropes have rocked KSJ. Both of them got hit with yeah. big moves early on here. Like, this came out hot, but what, you, what, what do you expect when, uh, I mean, like I said, you've got two people. KSJ feels though Hollow does not deserve the title. Hollow, I don't think he cares about anything, to be honest. Drop kick to the back there. I mean, your, your grandpa's put in the hospital. Why would you? Uh, right there, leg trip into a roundhouse kick. So, I mean, you know, half the crowd understand that. They're feeling for Hollow, but the other half are like, man, Nakamura, he was doing great in that tournament, and Hollow just steps in and just 
you know, his complete dickhead, and then he also cost KSJ his match against Chris Jericho on Shockwave. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna point out, it's also how he won, like, the Pure Mayhem title, is it not? Coming in and at the fatal, uh, Essentially, triple yeah. threat. Yeah, he just came in and took the victory out of nowhere. It's, you gotta keep your eye on this man. Whenever he's in the match, you need to keep your eyes focused on him. Because he will nice. come out of nowhere with a victory. Nice tip up there earlier from Hollow and that Hollow County. Uh, yeah, Hollow showed a bit more athleticism this year. I mean, you got to to keep that United States title. You see the amount of competition KSJ had to run through. Shinsuke Nakamura, Hammerstone, Brian Cage, Chris Jericho, just to name a few. Hollow's got him up. He was going for the death Hollow driver. KSJ scouting it into the double knees to the chest. I mean, do you think Hollow has it in him to beat KSJ? I mean, he hasn't yet. And right now, KSJ's got him with a switch off. Oh, damn. This could be a short title reign here for Delson Hollow. Two-time champ, KSJ. No, Hollow kicks out to you. That was close. Very. That happened out of nowhere, too, I mean. KSJ's right back at the speed. Hollow's going to watch that. Oh, man. Right to the jaw with that knee. Yeah, head off the knee there, and now Hollow rallying back here. A couple forearms, gonna catch him with that swing blade. Some old school there from Delson Hollow, and now right into another running neck, or uh, swinging neck breaker there, rather. It's a nice move from Hollow. Yeah. Hollow lifts KSJ right back up to his feet, going for the Hollow Valley driver again, but for the Death Hollow driver once again, KSJ able to scout it, Ben. And now, uh, what the hell is, oh, oh man, that was an interesting uh, Northern Lights arm trap suplex there. People bringing stuff out of nowhere for this match. And no kidding, now, oh, this is vintage KSJ with the submission he used it on Cage back at Wrestleverse. This is the beast fight. Oh, but hollow, hollow fighting out of it. Oh, elbows right to the bridge of the nose, I believe. Yeah, KSJ's caught him though, KSJ caught him, but not, not for long though. Hollow with a clothesline. And these two are now a third neck breaker coming from Hollow. It connects with a third one right into the cover. One, people <laughs> one count. Man, this is uh, very interesting so far here as Hollow lifts KSJ back up to his feet. Here we go, Death Hollow driver right into the cover. One, two, and a two count. Very impactful move there. Oh, get, Hollow's going for the We're finish here. We're about to see the most impactful move in his arsenal. One in the chamber. One in the chamber connects to KSJ cover. Come on, ref, where you at, bro? One, two, KSJ kicks out. That, now that is called one in the chamber. Does he have another in the chamber? That's going to be the big question here. Can he follow up then? Can Hollow stay on control, man? No one kicks out of the one in the chamber. That's what he used to knock off Nakamura and only took one at Wrestleverse. KSJ was able to stay alive, though. Hollow counter whips him into the corner. What the hell is Delson doing here? Uh, oh, God. I a hanging variation of the Sleepy Hollow here in the corner. Of course, he had to let go of it. His feet were on the ropes there. That would have been an illegal submission hold. Cover only a one count. See, Hollow's just, uh, he's, he's playing within the rule book here, but he's very, uh, he's treading the line. Let's put it that way. Oh, God, now KSJ coming back here. Double knees to the stomach. And the second one, and now, here we go, Ben, Hollow's in trouble, Ben and Driller connects. Right from the side of the head of Delson Hollow, that's vintage KSJ, and Hollow right now is grabbing his head, he's hurt, man. KSJ now calling up for the finish, a second switch off, but Hollow blocks it. Sets him on the ropes here, does Del, oh, what is he? What the is this? Oh, God, we're out of the way, ref, Jesus! Oh, fuck! Straight Whoa. decapitation. 
Holy hell, and right there, a counter from KSJ. KSJ's trying to stay in it, man, but he's on Dream Street right now. Holy shit, we've seen Holloway use the ropes earlier. Shoves off the cutter there to Delson. Kick, oh my god, no, Jesus! Sending him over the top. Holy crap, he just sent him out to the floor there. Man, these two are not messing around here. KSJ's trying to get back in this, but he's hurt, bro. KSJ now has got Holloway right where he wants and kicks out his legs. Now KSJ setting him up for something big here. A second Benadriller. A second Benadriller to the hand of Delson Hollow. Both KS these men, men are looking like they're going on empty. Okay. And now KSJ is calling for the finish. A second switch off here. Switch off. Wait. Hold that thought counter there by Hollow. And by Hollow's caught him. And one in the chamber times oh. two. One. Two, three. What a retain there. Both these men fought with everything they've had. What a retain there for the United States title. I mean, KSJ had a great run. Hall was starting off really good here. That was a great match with KSJ. I don't know if he quite earned the respect of KSJ here, but I think he built towards it. At least. I mean, at the end of the day, he retained his title, which is all he really cares about, I think. Yeah, and then the last right there, the Benadriller. What a bunch of highlights even this match. This is definitely the best match in the face of the Foster match in the universe can't be all over this week. Nice retain there for Hollow. I'll give it to him as cheap as he did it, but he still did it. And this is Benoit's official final match in UWA. Holy Wolverine. Being a Wolverine and a lot of Wolverine. Benoit, of course, has signed the contract. This is his official final last match in UWA. He wanted it to be against none other than his protege, Adam Page. After that was supposed to be his original final match, he lost to Page. But then the show got removed from public view. All the matches basically got erased. It's hard to go back and find it, so Benoit had to return. That match almost didn't exist anymore. Benoit said for sure he wants his final match to be with Adam Page no matter the outcome. Benoit feels as though he wants to try to beat the five-star savior too. versus Mentor. One more time, much like the last match that he just seen. He's another rematch. Can Big Wall knock off the five-star favorite Adam Hayes? Can he knock off the season with a veteran now, Adam Hayes? Well, I don't know if I can call him a veteran yet, but he's definitely a top two talent. He is the main event, basically, of UWA. Page is a mega star at this point. Here we go. This is the match is about to be underway. This might be the best match of the show here, technical wise. As Benoit and Adam Page walk up, side headlock takeover by Chris Benoit. Adam Page going to back him up off the ropes, sends Benoit off the ropes, leapfrog over, leapfrog over again from Adam Page. 
and Page looking to follow up. Benoit shoves him off. And Benoit now runs right into it. Walk up again between Benoit and Page. Benoit with a side headlock. Side headlock takeover again by Chris Benoit. Benoit the Rabbit Wolverine in control. Head and scissors counter from Adam Page. Benoit nips up out of it. Benoit side headlock again. Adam Page counters, takes him back up to his feet. Side headlock by Adam Page this time. Benoit going to send Adam Page off the ropes here. Drop down. Leapfrog. And German suplex. Page lands on his feet. Adam Page is back flipped out of that land on his feet. He's telling Benoit to bring it. Adam Page showing off his skill here in athleticism. Leg sweep. And jeez. He's that good. Jesus, man. Benoit's got to appreciate Adam Page, man, how far he's came here. Benoit sends the page into the corner, counter whip, out of the corner, German suplex. Just like that, Benoit's turned things around here. Adam Page's quickness isn't going to help him when Benoit becomes the Rabbit Wolverine. As you see Benoit, they're able to sidestep. Oh, man, right after the arm, they'll set a triple cross face and a headbutt. A uh, leg drop, Benoit. Just stiff arm in Adam Page now. A little one count there. Of course, these guys are friends. They are. No, oh, man. High knee there from Adam Page. They're friends, but at the end of the day, it's not going to matter. This is competition here. Benoit wants to try to beat Adam Page. Adam Page wants to prove to Benoit that he is exactly as good as, he, as people claim he is. I was going to say as he claims he is, but everyone else does it now, too. There's a reason Rick Prada There's a reason Prada went right after Adam Page, right there. Big slap from Adam Page to Chris Benoit. And now Benoit, Benoit hits him with the German this time. He ain't flipping out of it again, Adam Page. And now Benoit continuing with the suplex, a stalling vertical, float over, cover. And Adam Page kicks out without even a one count. That was a zero. Now you see Benoit. Working over the face and neck of Adam Page is the crippler. Benoit, cross face variation. Walker does not have the arm hook though. The weaker version of the cross face. Benoit trying to get a count here on Adam Page. I think he barely got a one there. And Benoit with an axe hand in there. He right now he's just working over Adam Page. He's trying to wear down the five star savior. You see Adam Page's tights here tonight with the Wolverine claws. Tribute to his mentor here, Chris Benoit. Benoit counters back elbow off the ropes. Hand spraying back elbow from Adam Page. And just like that, AP has worked his way back into this one. Vintage Adam Page here. I don't know why the crowd cheers up, but they do eye rake from Adam Page. Adam Page sends Benoit into the corner. Look at that five-star combo Benoit counters out. Now it's Page. Well, the new one's going to be able to scout the five-star combo. It's got to be Chris Benoit. Page. Page going for the infamous combo here. The five-star combo. Hangman's German. Now let's see if he can transition. Five-star fog splash with a five-star elbow. But Benoit rolls out of the way. Kick to the ribs. And Benoit control here again, German suplex. Benoit holding on, Adam Page is going to break the grasp here, otherwise it's going to get really ugly. The hat trick trifecta German suplexes from Benoit. Benoit fell on the face. Chris Benoit sends him into the opposing corner, Page moves out of the way. And he's where he's taught him, LCK. The looks can kill. Heck, we get that to LTK at this point. Looks that kill. Two, and Benoit kicks out a two. It's not Cam anymore. Well, maybe it's Cam to Benoit, because Benoit still can fight. He's showing a lot of heart here. He's Adam Page goes back with that five-star frog splash. Five-star frog splash. Page in for the cover. One. Only a one count. 
I don't think anyone's got more than a one count yet in this match. Until that LCK anyways. Page back to the top, win for another five-star elbow. Tribute to one of his uh, great idols, Shawn Michaels. And Benoit, of course, able to move out of the way. Busts him open, rolling kick countered by Benoit. Benoit knows Page too much. Oh, triple cross face, triple cross face, triple cross face. Page able to roll out of it. Page rolled out a triple super kick. Now Page showing off. Page backing up into the. Oh no. Adam Page is tuning up the band. Sweet chin music. No, Big Wall Ducks. Hooks the legs here. Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter. Shades of Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels going on here. As Big Wall goes to the top. Oh god. Oh no, he's gonna look for the headbutt. The headbutt, but Page moves out of the way. The wall hit his head hard there. I think he busted his head open on the canvas. Only a two count, Big Wall kicks out of two. Yeah, man, Big Wall busted his head open on the canvas off that diving headbutt. Now Page sends him out to the floor. The hell is Adam Page doing out here? What the hell is Paige? What the fuck is he doing? Oh my god. Oh my god! Benoit caught him! Benoit caught him! Shades of WrestleVerse three years ago! Sharp shooter! But Paige fought out of it! And a Paige fought the sharp shooter. These two back in the ring simultaneously. One of them's got a game here. Benoit! Benoit lands on his feet! Shoves off Adam Page. Oh, Page caught him. Big wall counters. He's too back and forth, man. Page, Page rolls through. Drop to wall. Big wall's face off the canvas. Right into the Widowmaker. Widowmaker locked in, in the center of the ring. Widowmaker. And Page makes Big Wall tap. Adam Page. Just did he make the crippler tap out. Adam Page just won the freaking match. Holy crap. Page just, Page just retired Big Wall. There's the respect here between Protege and Mentor. Great to see him man. Big Wall, man. He took a beating. What a really great five-star match to put the end Big Wall career in the UWA. Yeah, what a great ending. Wait, wait, what the, what the fuck is going on here? Oh my god, that's not Brody Lee, is it? That sick son of a bitch, Brody Lee! And Brody Lee from behind! He's wearing the connection vest! What the fuck is this? I believe that's Macho Santos from Lit. What the hell? And he's got a connection shirt on too. What the hell is going on? Oh no! He just laid out Big Wall. We found out earlier that it was Brody Lee who killed, who paid off Callahan to kill his tag team partner, best friend Dylan Harris. And now he's assaulting the man who gave him a job here in UWA. Chris Benoit, the leader of the connection. This is bullshit. What the hell is going on? No, Jesus. Someone tell Adam Page he's got to get out of here. Page, I think, just got word of this. He's coming back down the kingdom stick here. Beat their ass, Page. Beat their fucking ass. What? 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 What is going on? Page. Page Lucky Ben Wall the cross face. The ultimate sign of the ultimate sign of disrespect here from Adam Page. He's locking Chris Ben Wall the cross face with a damn kendo stick. What the fuck is going on? Someone get some help out here. What the fuck? What the hell? Is, what's, what's Adam Page doing? Oh, fuck!